So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video on Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about one of the top B.Tech college in Delhi. Yes, we are going to discuss about NIT Delhi in this video. National Institute of Delhi is a dream college for students in Delhi or around. So all the facts, all the information about NIT Delhi will be captured in this video. Just a small request folks, please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because you'll really enjoy. All right, let's start this video. Now, before starting this video, let me just tell you what are the topics that we are going to cover in this video. We are going to start with discussing about the highlights of NIT Delhi. Then we will move on to discuss about the course-wise specializations and their eligibility criteria in NIT Delhi. Then we'll discuss about the major entrance exam that you need to clear to get into the NIT Delhi. Then what are the cutoffs? We'll discuss about that part too. What are the reservation policy for the Indians and NRIs in NIT Delhi? We are going to discuss what are the scholarship options, what are the placement scenarios. So these topics we are going to cover in this video. And again, after this point of time, if you have any doubts, any questions, any queries, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Let's start this video. Now let's start with discussing about the NIT highlights, NIT Delhi highlights. So NIT Delhi, it is a triple A plus ranking college. It is a college of national repute, a public or a government college. COVID college, uh, the campus size is 51 acres, not too big, not too small, but yes, it is located in a perfect place in Delhi, the heart of Delhi. You'll really enjoy this campus. Trust me, folks. The faculty is 42. The total number of enrollments each year is 696, established in the year 2010. So this is a recent established NIT. All right. You can visit the site www.nitdelhi.ac.in slash question mark page slash id is equals to 11945 you'll have more information about nit delhi all right let's move on and discuss about the other aspects of this college let's discuss about the course wise specialization and eligibility criteria so nit delhi basically offers three types of courses that is quite simple you know ug pg and doctoral programs so in the ug that is btech it offers three specializations what are those these are computer science and engineering one of the top specialization in this college after that, this is electronics and communication engineering. Then this is electrical and electronics engineering. So this is the specialization in the BTEC. If I talk about in MTEC, this is mechanical engineering, applied science and computer science and engineering. So these are the domains or specializations in MTEC. If I talk about in PhD, this is humanities and management, electrical and electronics engineering and applied science. So these are the choosing or essentially the domains or specializations in PhD. Now let's discuss about the eligibility criteria. What is the basic eligibility criteria in this particular courses? Let's start with discussing about the BTEC. So for the BTEC, the government of India, essentially this is under the MHRD, it says that you need to score a minimum of 75% marks in your class 12th provided you should be having physics, chemistry and mathematics and their aggregate should be 75%. Of course, there are reservation in the reserved category students like for the OBC, SC or ST and PWD. This is the general criteria, 75% marks or above in PCM. Now, if I talk about in MTech, this is candidates seeking admission in MTech course in NIT Delhi must have passed his or her BTech with relevant discipline with minimum of 60% marks on 55% or 50% in the reserved category. You can visit the site, you'll have more information about this cutoff for the reserved category students. For the PhD, it says that candidates must have an MTech degree with graduation in engineering with minimum of 60% marks and 55% or 50% for the reserved category students. Again, let me just tell you, this is the basic eligibility criteria. This does not confirm your seats at NIT Delhi. Now, what is the key factor here? The key factor is this thing, which is the entrance exam. All the NITs needs entrance exam. You need to clear entrance exam. Then only you will get call from these NITs. Now for the BTEC, you have to clear J means. J means with a perfect score, a perfect score because these are under the top 10 in IT's, right? Of course, Delhi College in Delhi is one of the top colleges in IT. So yes, you have to clear J means. Then if I talk about with the MTech, you have to clear your gate. So gate is an entrance exam. You need to clear with a valid score. You, you should be having a valid score in gate. If I talk about in MPhil and PhD, there is a written test and interview. It is just like you have to pass the written test, then you will call for GD and PI. These are conducted by the departments of NIT Delhi. You can visit the site www.testprepcard.com slash g slash blog single PHPID 1558 NIT Delhi NRI admission FAQs according non one. So in there you will find more information about this entrance exam, what are the cutoffs in detail and related questions and answers. You'll find that thing interesting. Must visit that site. 
So now let's discuss about the other aspect of this college. Let's discuss about the cutoff. So in the cutoff, if I talk about for the computer science and engineering, in the open category, the home state opening rank was 12,311. For the other state, this was 6,983. This is for the male. If I talk about for the female, the home state is 14,000 and other state is 12,468. Okay. If I talk about for the OBC NCL, this is 5596. In the other state, this is 2616 for the male and for the female, this is 7782 and 4822 and likewise. You can just see this is just for the computer science and engineering. Let's move on and discuss about the other specialization. Let's choose electrical and electronics. So in the electrical and electronics, the open category, the open ranking in the male was in the case of open, this was 26,120. For the other states, this was 18,291. For the OBC NCL, this was 11,491 and 6,035 for the other states. All right. Now, in here, this is also a sure shot thing that you should know that 50% of the seats in BTEC is reserved for the students of Delhi and NCR, and rest 50% are open where you are eligible to apply in. All right. Now, this is for the Indians and Analyze 2. Now, let's discuss about the reservation. So, this is a government college which is under MHRD. It's follows the rule regulations of the government of India. It says that in the course, any course for the ST category students, essentially the scheduled tribe students, 7.5% of the total sheets should be reserved for those category students. If I talk about for the SC, 15% of the total seats are reserved for SC category students. If I talk about for the OBC, it says that 27% of the total seats should be reserved for the OBC category students. And for the EWS, this is 10%. This means that if you just sum up, it comes out to be 59.50. So 59.50 seats, percent of the seats are reserved for the reserve category students, which means that the remaining 31.5% are reserved for the open category students or the general students, right? This is for the Indian students. Now let's discuss about the NRIs. So in the NRIs, I'm only taking UG course in here, which is the BTEC. And in the three specializations, these are computer science and engineering, electrical and electronics, and electronics and communication engineering. So there are a total of 27 seats, 999 in each of these specializations are reserved for NRIs, okay? You can visit the site www.testprepcard.com slash j slash blog single php question mark id 1558 slash nit daily nri admissions FAQ according one night so you will have more information about this reservation of the nris in this link this is a blog page of ours test prep card okay must visit now before i move forward and announce the other part let me just tell you a very important part here this is a very important part for the nri students it says that for the nri students we have prepared an nri ebook that is related to DASNCIWG, you can download it from the link in the description below. We have a compiled set of NRI book that will really help this NRI students to prepare well for their D-Day, right? Essentially for the NRIs. Now let's discuss about the admission process. So for the admission process, I'm discussing course-wise, right? Let's start with discussing about the UG. So in the BTEC program, you need to clear, qualify your GE mains with a perfect and your scorecard, whatever you have scored. So your scorecard, once you qualify the cutoff of this NIT really, which is disclosed in the coming days, then you need to feel or you need to register for the JOSA. JOSA is a counseling process. You can visit the site, official site of JOSA and just upload the necessary documents and make the fee, right? Just do the payments. Once you're done, then choose the preference. And the preference, if you are only targeting NIT Delhi, if you are just so desperate to get into this college, choose NIT Delhi as one in the preference list. And likewise, you can you will have options in there, right? Because according to the cutoff, all the college, all the college where you are interested in will come in and then just choose according to your preference. Once you're done, you will be called for the counseling process and then everything goes right, you will be given admission. So this is just admission process. But in here, the key criteria is only your J main scorecard. So if you perform well, if your scores are high, provided your 75% marks is maintained in your class 12 with PCM, right, then you're done. Now let's discuss about the uh, admission process in MTech. So MTech or ME program, again, the key factor in here is you need to qualify GATE, a uh, perfect score, or you need to qualify with the cutoff, which is disclosed by NIT Delhi. Once you're done, visit the site, which is CCMT. This is a counseling process, as well as JOSA in the case of BTEC or grad in the graduation program. In the case of post-graduation, this is CCMT. So once you're done with CCMT, just fill the necessary documents, make the payment, and again, if everything goes right, congratulations, you are into NIT Delhi. Now let's discuss about the admission process in PhD. So in the PhD, there is an entrance exam. 
that is not an entrance exam as so like a national level entrance exam like gate or j means this is a simple entrance exam which is conducted by the department of nit delhi once you clear the entrance exam or just like a written test once you clear the written test or that entrance exam for the nit delhi then you are called for the further process that is for the group discussion or personal interview once you just sit in there maybe they will ask you to present your research work in the masters or your degree or your relevant subjects like you are opting in the phd and if everything goes right congratulations you are into nit delhi all right now what are the scholarship options so scholarship options are ample because these all are national level colleges these are the colleges of national repute i'm just taking a simple uh, scholarship option which is nsp national scholarship option national scholarship portal so it is a central scheme like ministry of humanitarian affairs department of environmental of persons and disabilities ministry of social justice and empowerment ministry of labor and environment ministry of tribal affairs department of school education and literacy department of higher education warb rfp northern states council there are much scholarship options in here right visit the site choose your state choose your district maybe you are eligible to apply through your states or through your districts schemes right now these colleges are actually of the national repute you can even reimburse your entire fee the fees are not too high and the return on investment is really high right roe visit the site www.scholarships dot government dot in you will have more information about this scholarship now let's discuss about the hot topic which is the placement that what is the placement scenario in this nit delhi so regarding the placements i have just made this thing very clear that these go through the median pay package not through the average not through the highest because the highest is the highest that is not a ball game that you are targeting the average is the average that is not the ball game that you are targeting you are targeting where you are actually lying and that is the figure which median data tells right so if i talk about in be and btec the median pay package in the year 9 2019 was 6 lakh 50000 around 6.5 lpa in the year 2018 this was around more than 5 lakhs let's say it's 5.2 or 5.3 lpa in the year 2017 this was 5 lpa so you can see a drastic increment 5 lakh to 5.25 to 6.5 maybe in this year no uh, cannot say much in about this because there is recession maybe there there can be a chance of economy slow down because of this covid but yes more or less it will be lying in between more than 4 or more than 4 and then less than 6 yes it cannot be less than 4 because these are nits there are some standards that these colleges have to maintain in terms of placements in terms of companies visit and etc If I talk about in terms of ME and MTech, this is for the year 2019. The average pay package, the median pay package, was around 7 LPA, 7 lakh per annum. In the year 2018, this was around 6.2, 6.3 LPA. In the year 2017, this was around 4.2. Yes, it should be more than four, right? These all are NITs. There are some standard norms that these colleges have to follow. If you talk about for the top recruiters in this college, there are Global Analytics, Oxygen, Mac, Extric, Logistics, LNT, Ramco, Intellect. Infosys, IBM, TCS, Tata Power, Delhi Distribution Limited. Again, there are many other companies that visit for the placement, but these are the prominent uh, companies that essentially these are the top recruiters in this college. Right? Don't think about the placement; you will definitely get placed. Maintain your 6.5 or 7 CGPA, OGPA, whatever that is, because that is the only requirement these companies ask for. That is the eligibility criteria essentially to sit into the placements. All right, so this is all about NIT Delhi. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you have any doubts, any questions, any queries of this NIT with NIT Delhi, ask in the comment section below. Feel free to reach out to us. Best wishes. Thank you.